look at order of operations and we'll simplify several expressions. Order of operations is extremely important in chemistry and it comes up all the time. So it's very important that we review it here. So here we have an example of 16 divided by 8 minus 2. When we're doing this, we need to do the 16 divided by 8 first. So we divide before we add and subtract. So if we do 16 divided by 8, we find that it's 2. Now we take that 2 and we subtract 2, and we get 0 as the overall answer. In this case, it's a little bit different. If you notice, in this case we have parentheses. Parentheses mean do that first, so you want to do something in parentheses first. So in this case, we want to take 25 minus 11, which is 14, and then multiply 14 by 3, which is 42. So if there's no parentheses, we do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. If there is parentheses, we do whatever's in the parentheses, doesn't matter what it is, uh, before we do the thing that's not in the parentheses. Let's look at another example. In this question, we have lots of stuff going on. We have 7 times 8 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 18 times 3. We want to do all these multiplications and divisions first, then the add, adding and subtracting. So 7 times 8 is 42. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 18 times 3 is 54. Now we want to take 42 minus 3, which is 39, plus 54, which equals 93. So again, we did the multiplying and dividing before we did the adding and subtracting. This is similar, except here we have two sets of parentheses. One is actually a bracket. So the very first thing we want to do is the thing that's innermost of the parentheses, so this, 2 plus 4, which is 6. We then want to take 2 plus 4, the 6, and multiply it by negative 3, or just use, leave the minus. So in this case, we get 3 times 6, which is 18. 54 minus 18 gives us 36. So that is this equation simplified. Now we have the 36, and we want to divide by 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So we have to use the parentheses. Do the thing in the innermost parentheses first, then the multiplication, then the subtraction. And because this is all in parentheses, we do all of that before we do the divide by 9. It's technically in brackets. So that's how that works. Let's look at another example. Here we have 15 minus 2 times 3 squared. Well, in this case, you want to do the 3 squared as the very first thing. So something raised to a power is even higher in priority than multiplying and dividing. So in order to do that, we take this and we square it and we get 9. Now we want to take 2 times the 9, which is 18. Once we have the 18, we then want to divide it by 6 before we do the subtraction, because that is a higher um, order thing. So I'm putting it up here so we can see it. Um, 18 divided by 6 is 3. Then finally, 15 minus 3, which equals 12. So that's kind of the order we did it in. That's why I'm showing the arrows like this. In this case, we want to do the thing in parentheses first. So 7 minus 4 is 3. We then want to square that, which is 9. Now we have dividing and adding. So we want to divide first. 36 divided by 9 is 4. Now add 21, and we get 25. So order of operations is very important to know the order to do this. If you do it in the wrong order, you'll likely get the wrong answer. Here we have an absolute value. Absolute value means the magnitude, not the direction. Said another way, if it's a negative number, make it positive. If it's positive, just leave it. So in this case, we want to do this, uh, this subtraction and this subtraction first. So in this case, we have 5 minus 8, which is minus 3, but minus 3, but we want the absolute value, which is 3. And in this case, we want to do 4 minus 1, which is 3. Now, we want to take that 4 minus 1, and we have 1 multiply, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. Hopefully you can see that. So now we have 6 minus 3, 
plus 9. Um, 6 minus 3 is 3, plus 9 is 12. So that's how we get 12 as the answer to this problem. For the next one, it's even more complicated because we have a lot, um, kind of a little bit of everything going on. So in this case, we have several things inside parentheses slash brackets. So here we have something in parentheses. We have 5 times 3, which is 15. So we'll start with that. We have 6 minus 3, which is 3. And we have 4 squared, which is 16. And then we have this plus 1. So now we have a multiplication before we have any kind of subtraction. So we can do this. 7 times 15 is 105. Now we have a 3 minus a 16, which is going to be negative 13. And then we want to multiply that by 2. So we're going to get negative 26 when we take that and those two together. Now we have 105 minus minus 20, 26, which is the same as plus 26, which is 131, plus 1, which is 132. So this is kind of a culmination of the order of operations uh, rules. Note that order of operations like this isn't really done in chemistry, because we're not just using whole numbers and things like this. But order of operations more generally is extremely important in chemistry and comes up all the time. So it's important that we know the rules for order of operation.